There are different ways you can do your keyword research on Amazon KDP and I'm going to show you a really easy way that I do my keyword research that has consistently produced good results over the months. Take a look at the video. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And we talk a lot about Amazon KDP and making low content books. Today is no different and I want to talk to you about keywords. Keywords are so important when it comes to selling your books because keywords is how your buyers find your books on Amazon. Customers type in what they're searching for in the Amazon search bar and Amazon then shows them a selection of what they think is a good match for their search. And that all depends on the keywords that you're using. So if you want your book to show up for a customer search, you need to use the right keywords, the keywords that that person has typed into Amazon to look for what they want to buy. Your keyword research is one of the most important things that you can do to get traffic to your books and to get buyers interested in your books and to get sales. And part of the keyword research is not only to find out what customers are typing into their search to find your book, but also how much competition there is, how many other authors or publishers are using the same keywords. So you need to know if the keywords that you're using are even worth it because we're all trying to get to page one of the search results. So let's hop onto my screen share and I'll show you exactly how I do my keyword research. As I said, there are different ways of doing it. This is just one way and I will make more videos to show you other ways to do it. But this is one of the simplest ways and it's free. So let's get started. And the first thing you need to do is to decide on a niche. A niche is the type of book that you want to publish. So for example, you could publish a notebook or a journal or a logbook or a coloring book, a recipe book and so on. So those are niches, but it's also a good idea to niche down because those are really kind of like type of books. A notebook is a type of book. So if you research notebooks, you get so many results, it's really not worth it. So you really need to narrow it down even further. You could have a notebook for teachers, for example, a journal for gratitude, a logbook for medication, a coloring book for adults, a recipe book for vegetarians and so on. The more you divide the niche into subsections, the better because you're cutting out a lot of the competition. If you type in notebooks into Amazon, you get thousands of results, but notebooks for teachers is slightly better. And then if you can niche down even more, even better. So I'm going to use activity book as an example. And also we can do this research without any tools, but to help us, we're going to use two Chrome extensions that will make our job a lot easier. And those are DS Amazon Quick View and AMZ Suggestion Expander. So once you have installed those, we're ready to do our keyword research. And also it's a good idea to start your search in an incognito window so that Amazon doesn't give you biased results because Amazon knows your previous search history and they try and give you the results matching what you've searched for previously. So in an incognito window, you will start from a neutral perspective. So type in activity book in your Amazon search bar. And at this point, I should mention that we want to search in all categories, not books, because this is where most our customers on Amazon search and we want to get the same results as the buyers on Amazon. So once you've typed in activity book, you can see that there's a lot of information coming up here. That's because of the AMZ suggestion expander. And all of these entries are things that customers have typed into the search bar. So now we know that people have been looking for activity books for kids ages four to eight, activity books for kids ages nine to 12. All of these are searches that people have made on Amazon. So that's really good for us to know because now we know that people are looking for these type of books. So I would say to you, make a note of all of these, either make a spreadsheet and write them down or write them down in a notebook, but make a note because you want to know the kind of searches that people have made on Amazon for 
activity books. So now let's niche down a little bit further. So let's pick on one of these results. I'm going to try activity books for adults. Let's click on that. And here we can see that we've got over 60,000 results. This number here tells us all the results that are coming up for this search term. And 60,000 is quite a lot. We really ideally want to find niches where the results are less than a thousand. And I know that is difficult, but that is why we do the keyword research, because we're trying to find the niches that are profitable for us. So we want less competition. 60,000 is a lot of books to compete with. So what we're going to have to do is niche down even further. So if we click here, we get this drop down menu again. And again, I would say to you, write down all these keywords because it's really good to know what people have typed into Amazon and then just explore each individual keyword. So let's start with the first one. Let's have a look and see what this one says. So straight away, we've got a really good result. 1000 results for activity book for adults with dementia. I know it says over 1000 results, but this is pretty good. It's it's rare to find one with under 1000. So this is quite good already. So when we have a good result like that, what we want to do next is we want to have a look at the books. And when we have a look at the books, I'll show you something. If you hover over this book, you get this product details coming up. And this is because we installed the DS Amazon Quick View Chrome extension. And that gives us more information without having to click onto the book. So straight away, we can see that it's independently published, the number of pages, the dimensions. And this is the number that we're interested in, the best seller rank, the BSR. And the BSR in this case is 100,270. So here you find the number as well. And what this BSR is, the best seller rank, is it means that the lower this number is, the better. What people want to have is they all want to have a number one book. Number one would be the book that has sold the most copies on all of Amazon. <laughs> so if you look at the Amazon bestsellers, top 100, if you click here, it will take us to the Amazon best sellers. And at number one, this has got a BSR of number one is Dave Grohl, the storyteller, tales of life and music. So this is the number one bestseller on Amazon at the moment. And obviously it's selling lots and lots of copies. And then you can see all the other ones that um, are selling really well. And I'm very happy to see that there's some children's books on there because I also make children's books and I think they can be very profitable. It's very interesting to see what kind of books are on the first page of the Amazon bestseller list. So now you know that you want this number to be as low as possible. So let's go back. So this has got a really good BSR and what we want to find we want to have a look under activity book for adults with dementia and we want to find books that have a BSR of under 300,000 on average. So we want to have at least three or four books that are under 300,000 and that lets us know that there is a demand for these books, that these books are selling. So if we have 1000 results or less, and three or four books on the first page that have a BSR of under 300,000, then that is a good niche. And I think this is actually a good niche because the BSRs are quite low. So this is how I would do my keyword research. So make sure that you write down all of these drop down results. And so there isn't much more under this keyword here. But if we go back again and we check out activity books for adults. You can see that there's quite a lot more to choose. So you do the same thing for all of them. You click on them, you check the search result. You want that to be under 1000. And then if you find one with under 1000, you can then check and see what the BSRs are of those books. So this is how I used to do my manual keyword research. And it's actually quite simple, but it's a lot of work. You have to look through quite a lot of niches and it's not always easy to find good niches with a low search result and 
books that are selling well and that have got low BSRs. And the other thing we don't know really is the search volume. We don't know how many people are looking for activity books for adults on Amazon. And that is because Amazon doesn't tell that number to anybody. There are some tools that you can buy and there are some free tools as well that can let you know, but they're not actually based on Amazon search volume because Amazon doesn't tell them that, but they have their own algorithm that works out those numbers. And that can actually be very useful. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you find that interesting how I do my keyword research. It's actually not difficult and you don't need a lot of tools sometimes. I will make some more videos on other ways to do your keyword research where I do use some tools to help me. This is the simplest way. It just takes a little bit more time to do it this way because you have to look through quite a lot of data. But this is the way how I used to do my keyword research when I first started on KDP because I didn't have the funds to buy any fancy tools to do my keyword research. And I used to do it manually this way and I still got some really good results. So you can do it. It's just more time consuming than if you use any tools to help you. But it's a very simple way to do it. It's effective and I'm all for doing things for free if you can. And especially when you're first starting KDP, you're trying to do things with what you have on hand. And this is a really good way, simple way to do it. And I hope you enjoyed it. Watch my other video on keywords. I leave the link up here, which is really interesting as well. And it explains why keywords are so important. And I will make some more videos, as I said, regarding keywords because it's such an important subject. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.